What's good, Broad Street Bullies Fantasy Football? As you know, I will be dropping content day after day, leading up to the season, during the off season, throughout the season, I will be dropping content. Like and subscribe. And if you want to join any of my pay and free leagues, please join my Broad Street Bullies Fantasy Football um, on Facebook and I do have pay leagues from myself um, other commissioners and free leagues as well uh, I'm still creating other free leagues as well just for people who just want to join in for the fun and they just want to um, do some free leagues look um, I this video is about AJ Brown and Devontae Smith just a little short you know when I was looking at and look I'm not a big stats guy you know I'm not gonna be uh, you know, just giving you stats and stuff. Most of this stuff is from my personal opinion on what I think. And me personally, I am an Eagles fan. I am a diehard Eagles fan. So seeing this offense operate last year, it was amazing. AJ Brown and Devontae Smith complement each other well. AJ Brown knows how to run routes. Uh, he knows how to get, you know, break separation. He's fast enough. And Devontae Smith is just, he's just smooth as hell. Like, he's like, you know, they call him uh, Skinny Batman uh, in Philly. But just, you know, comparing these two wide receivers, when you look at their ADP and stuff of where they might go, like, A.J. Brown is going, like, you know, uh, he can go either late first round or, um, uh, or you know, second round. Or it depends on your draft. If, you know, you playing with a bunch of rookies and they let that value slip and AJ Brown somehow falls in the third or fourth round I don't know why like a, a you know experienced person would not take him or something like that but looking at where Devontae Smith um falls I think uh if I'm not mistaken he's like um most of the times going in the third and fourth round and stuff like like early third maybe mid third um and uh, maybe early fourth. Oh, hold on, let me see. My, my camera's all messing up and stuff. But when you look at them, you look at their stats. AJ Brown had, AJ Brown had, um, what is it? Um, if I'm not mistaken, 95 receptions for 11 touched. No, no, no. AJ Brown had 87 receptions for 11 touchdowns. I know he had over a thousand receiving yards. I don't know the exact number. And Devontae Smith had. 95 receptions for um what is it uh i think seven touchdowns over a thousand yards these are literally two number one guys that you can get at different prices now we don't know what's going to happen like no fantasy football is all speculative you know last year might not be this year but if you're going to have any faith in the Eagles having faith in the Eagles says that the Eagles offense will continue to roll they didn't lose any major key pieces they you know they lost Miles Sanders um but they picked up DeAndre Swift and Rashad Penny but their receiving core remains intact uh you with AJ Brown as your number one alpha receiver and uh Devontae Smith as your, your number two and you got Dallas Goddard in there this is a, a offense that is dynamic and just fun to watch it's going to put up points based on if they stay healthy, if they're clicking again. And Devontae Smith, this is third year. And second year, he's already had a breakout. It might be a bigger breakout coming for the third year. So it's like if you're doing a strategy like where you're trying to stack, uh, you know, like a wide receiver, say like you get Jalen Hurts, whatever. If you go early QB, you get Jalen Hurts, let's say, you, you might take them in the second round. Or even if you want to get bold and, and just say, fuck it, I'll take them in the first round. Uh, I, th I think, you know, that won't be bad either if you take them in the first round, considering his rushing upside, um, the, the amount of points he can just give you on any uh, any week, like on any weekly basis. And at the end of the day, the ultimate goal in fantasy football is to put the best players out there. So if you draft Jalen Hurts based on best player available if you feel that's your best player available even at the first round you can take them and people might look at you a little crazy or something or they might be like okay well you 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 left wide receiver value on the board not necessarily if you can come back and get Devontae Smith I mean Devontae Smith was cooking last year looking at his stats the points he put up 
he didn't really have that many off games. Like, he had games where it was like, you know, he'd drop uh, four or five points. But most of the games looking at him, he was dropping 15, 16, 17, even 20 sometimes, you know, points. And he's putting up wide receiver one numbers. Like, you know, 95 receptions over 1,000 yards with seven touchdowns, that's not bad at all. I don't know, you know, like, that's not bad. And me personally, you know, if you don't get A.J. Brown in the first or the second, you can probably wait to get Devontae Smith. Even if you don't have Jalen Hurts, you know, and you got another quarterback or you went wide receiver, you know, let's say, you know, you got the, the eighth pick and you you took your first wide receiver was, uh, let's say, hypothetically speaking, Stephon Diggs. You get Stephon Diggs and Devontae Smith as your number one and two wide receivers, if anything crazy happen, like if anything crazy don't happen, you're sitting pretty good at wide receiver. So um, it's just my take. Like you know, I know people not sleeping on Devontae. You know he has an average ADP of like third or fourth round. So people not sleeping on him. People know he's there. But the value you can get with Devontae Smith in the third, fourth round. If if you didn't want to if you if you want to take your chance and not scoop up AJ but you want Devonte it's amazing because you're basically getting another number one wide receiver in the fourth round and I looked at some of the ADP on um, CBS if I'm not mistaken he's going between people like um, Kenneth Walker um, I can't remember the other people I know Kenneth Walker's there like you know me personally you know it's a wide receiver dominated league. You know, I do like Kenneth Walker, but at the same time, you don't know what's going to happen with him because of, um, you know, with Zach uh, Charbonnet into the fold. I still think Kenny uh, Kenneth Walker is still going to, like, ball out and be solid. But at that time, you know, will, will I choose Kenneth Walker over Devontae Smith? I don't think I will. So um, I'm just saying, like, look, keep this stuff in mind. Like, there's a lot of players – that you can wait for that has similar value. Like for example, and this just throw throw one out there, Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk. Like Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk, their stats were similar. And, and Debo Samuel, if I'm not mistaken, he's going around that second, third, even fourth round. Um, but I, Brandon Ayuk, um, he's probably going around like a couple later, like, around, like maybe two, three rounds later. If you don't want to spend the pick on Debo Samuel, you definitely can go Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk is probably going to get you 80, 85 receptions, you know, probably six or seven touchdowns. Good wide receiver, too, two stuff. So I'm just saying, look, think about the values in your draft and stuff like that. Because um, when we get in drafts, you know, everybody's going to be doing stuff different. And maybe you wanted A.J. Brown, but, you know, somebody took him. All right, well, then see if you can get Devontae Smith as your next wide receiver. That's what I would do, personally. Both of them wide receivers are great to draft, and you can't go wrong with A.J. Brown as your first wide receiver coming off the board in, like, the late, let's say, the late first or the early second or even the mid-seconds. But you can't go wrong if you wait, too, and get Devontae Smith. So that's all I got to say. I mean, look, man, like and subscribe. I will be dropping more and more content. Follow my uh, my Facebook group, Broad Street Bullies Fantasy Football. As time goes on, I will increase uh, the amount of platforms this channel is on. So look, that's all I had to say. I just was thinking about that in my head. You, you know, I'm driving to work right now. I was thinking about that and uh, I just was like, man, Devontae Smith and AJ Brown both provide great values, but Devontae Smith provides a way greater value that's still similar to AJ Brown. All you're missing if in term all you're missing is about three or four touchdowns. AJ Brown had eleven touchdowns. Devontae Smith had seven. It could be a chance that Devontae Smith would still be around seven, eight touchdowns, but it could be a chance maybe he gets nine or ten. You never know. This is a wide receiver core where I think that um the touchdowns can flip flop from a year to year basis. But right now you got AJ Brown at the physical he's he's like approaching that physical peak like he's in his prime but he's approaching that that mark in like two three years where he's probably not going to be exactly in his prime no more but he's still going to be serviceable Devontae Smith is like what I think 23 years old he's still in his prime and still has like 
probably three, four top flight years as long as injuries or just loss of production doesn't happen. And I don't see that happening. So what I'm saying is, look, man, I'm in on A.J. Brown and um, Devontae Smith. And um, last year, I, 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 I wasn't sure if how the Eagles was going to um, – I wasn't sure if how the Eagles were going to be offensively because I was hesitant about Jalen Hurts. Well, they made me eat crow. I did take them as like certain Eagles in some uh, leagues and stuff like that, and it, been, it was beneficial. But for a lot of my leagues, I probably didn't have too many shares. But it's not something I'm missing out on this year. Two players that are in their prime at this moment that uh, seem like they're only going to get better if Jalen Hurts continues to get better, that Eagles uh, wide receiver room is, is going to be a problem. But that's all I got to say, man. Like and subscribe. I'll be dropping more videos. And uh, follow my Facebook page, Broad Street Bullies Fantasy Football. All right. I'm out.